2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. Welcome everyone, let's get ready for some NBA basketball on 2K Sports. I'm Kevin Harlan alongside Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. David Aldridge joins us from the sideline and checking out Minnesota's opening lineup. Conley is the point, Edwards plays on the wing. Towns and Gobert hold down the post for him. And it's McDaniels in at the small forward. And for the Kings, Barnes is in the front court along with Murray. Ellis is out there with De'Aaron Fox. And it's Sabonis in at the five. We'll have to keep our eyes on the center matchup, Greg, in this one. These two bigs bring so much to their respective teams. Yeah, and, and remember when people thought centers were going extinct? Look around the league. There, there's so much talent at that position, including the two guys we get to watch here tonight. Conley, the pass to Edwards. Screen, screen, screen. And here's Gobert. And here's Conley outside. Nailed from three-point land. And this pumps the whole team up. Conley's shooting ability brings energy and excitement. Gobert against Sabonis. Here's Barnes. Good, and it's Sabonis with the assist that time. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. Now here's Towns. Back to Conley. Fires the three. Gobert. And there's Gobert putting it right back in. This is what the team relies on Gobert for. Clearing the glass and finishing the play. Now Fox. Barnes outside. Down to five on the shot clock. Puts it up from 12. And McDaniel with the block. The length of McDaniels, a big factor at both ends. They get the rebound. Towns finds Conley. Second shot opportunity. And it's Sacramento with the rebound. Passes to Fox. Boy, I like the focus and unselfishness Fox brings to the court. A strong defender with lightning quick reflexes in every spot. This is his first free throw of the game. And <laughs> did he lay an egg at the strike in their previous game? Couldn't get anything to drop. Was completely out of sync on his free throws, and I'm sure that led him to some extra work at the foul line. You know, his free throw percentage has dropped this year, but not really enough to raise any red flags or to become alarmed about it. No good on the free throw. Incredibly for the Minnesota Timberwolves, Clark, the 2004 playoffs are the only time they've won a series. You know, Kevin, with Kevin Garnett, they had a few 50-win teams and some excellent coaches. That just tells you, I think, how hard it is to win in this league. He doesn't get the second one. Timberwolves have gone 2 of 5 here, making 40% so far to start out the game. The shot by McDaniels, no good. And it's Fox with the ball for the Sacramento Kings. They trail by one. Ellis can't get it to go. No one to blame on that one but himself. You get looks like that, you've got to take advantage. A nice shot by McDaniels. And he's a pure point guard with terrific vision. Conley finds open teammates at times before they realize they're open. Now, here's Sabonis. There's the dish to Murray. Rebound, Minnesota. That is some tough defense there against one of the better finishers in our game. Conley scanning the floor. No one near Edwards as he lets it fly. Buries it from three-point range. Well, Edwards looking almost automatic there. Didn't wait too long to put that shot up. So the Kings called timeout. They're first. And you know, what you love about Mike Conley, he's a leader by example. The epitome of a terrific point guard and teammate. True professional in every sense of the word, on and off the floor. 
He plays and he teaches and mentors. I could see him if he desired being a really good head coach someday. And we've got a lineup change here for Sacramento. Minnesota also making some changes. Nas Reed, he's checked in for Gobert. Alexander Walker comes in for McDaniels. And Morris subbed in for Mike Conley. Now, here's Mitchell. Pass to Lyles to end the cold streak. Rebound by Alexander Walker. Timberwolves leading by six. Here's Edwards, and he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. And Clark, what can you say about Anthony Edwards? Living up to that first overall hype, he has been spectacular. Yeah, he has been, Kevin. I agree. Some were surprised he went first overall, but you look back at that draft, he was as good a number one pick as any of them, and he's certainly proven to be worthy of that status. He throw good Edwards so much confidence coming from Anthony Edwards you can just see it this is a guy who knows he belongs in the league and is hungry to be great Anderson he's checked in for towns and Edwards drops them both making it look effortless send this guy to the strike he's going to cash in more than not Here's Monk. Mitchell outside. Reed with the block. Edwards against Herter. His shot is good, making him a perfect two for two from the floor. Their play on both ends has been superb. We, we'll see if they can maintain the momentum. And, you know, nothing like getting an opponent on the ropes early. You love that if you're on that side of the scoreboard. And they are landing some haymakers now. Now a timeout called by Sacramento. And they just can't seem to get going offensively. And I think this timeout, guys, is where you draw up some plays that are guaranteed to create some high percentage shots. One thirty-seven left in the first quarter. It's stolen by Morris. Here's the break. Here's Reed. Sacramento grabs the miss. Yeah, you won't see him miss many dunks unless you've got somebody right in his face, as was the case there on that possession. Stolen by Reed. 
And there's the pass to Alexander Walker. Fifty-four seconds left in the first. Six on the shot clock. Pass to Reed. And another three for Minnesota. I like their focus coming in. Terrific execution so far. And you know, it's an all-out effort they've come in with. Very aggressive offense so far. Now, here's Monk. Still without a basket. To end the run. And Lyles finishes inside. There's 31 seconds left here in the opening quarter. Pass to Alexander Walker. Offensive rebound. The kick out to Anderson. A second chance effort. He lays it in. When you allow good scorers to get uncontested shots at the rim, no wonder you're losing. You know, he should be getting extra attention from the defense, not less. And here's Herter outside. And so it's Minnesota. 13 points up at the end of the period. They have made it very tough to get a shot off against them. Their defense has been stifling. We come back right after this. And glad to have you with us, folks. Second quarter of basketball. This game has not exactly been neck and neck, but plenty of time left in this one. And quite a position here for the Timberwolves to be in. What do you think, guys? What we saw in that first quarter, uh, they won their matchups defensively. Yeah, I agree. I mean, you, you look at the energy, the effort defensively, they put it all out there in that opening quarter. When it comes to the essential components of a winning team, GA, how much importance do you place on veteran leadership? Kevin, I think it's important. You, you want a few guys in the locker room who've seen it all players who can keep the ship steady if the team kind of goes awry or, or has a tough stretch. Sabonis is the center with Murray next to him. De'Aaron Fox out there with Ellis. And it's Barnes in at the three set. That's the five to begin the second quarter for the Kings. And here is Conley following the three-pointer from De'Aaron Fox. Towns down low. He's covered by Murray. Towns with the bucket. And, you know, for all his perimeter skills, Towns also bringing that physicality inside. Here's Fox again, Sacramento. He's just such a well-rounded offensive player. He's got a little bit of everything. Second quarter, and we're just over a minute in. Conley kicks to Towns. Back to Conley. Minnesota needs to get off a shot here. Shot's good by Alexander Walker. Could have been much better defense. I mean, you can't give this guy any room to operate. Fox against Conley. Fox, no good. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just, let's face it, he whiffs on that one. Clark, when you think of top rebounders today, Rudy Gobert is a name that comes to mind. Yeah, he's super long and tall, but that's not just why he's such a dominant rebounder. He's got a real good knack for reading where balls are coming off, and the timing that he has is pretty impeccable, too. And even though he's north of seven feet tall, he does a good job boxing out as well. In the hoop for his third make from the field, he's three for four thus far in the contest. Man, I like how confident Fox is inside. I mean, awesome. Absolutely awesome getting good positioning close to the basket. And the shot goes in from Rudy Gobert. And they've repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys, and, and it's paid off. And with an update from the sidelines, let's check in with David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Well, Rudy Gobert is a fierce competitor. He says the average fan might not understand what I bring to the table, but the GMs in the league do. I want to be the best defensive player of all time. I want to be a force, and I want to win championships. I've got to set the tone every night. Kevin? And he does. He is a stopper, no doubt about it. David, thank you. First free throw is good. Jordan McLaughlin's checked in for Nikhil Alexander-Walker. Fox 
Hicks hits them both. Here's McLaughlin. Pass to McDaniels. Over Barnes. And good. Got the friendly bounce off the right side of the rim. And the Timberwolves lead by 17. Outside, Fox. The pass to Barnes. Wide open look here for Murray. Up three off the mark. Minnesota leading by 17. Here in the second quarter, just under three and a half minutes played. And so it's Murray with it. He brings it up for Sacramento. Ellis in the post. Over by Conley. Ellis, that's good. Minnesota's gotten a success rate of just over 50% from three-point tonight. Four of seven shooting. McLaughlin, the pass to McDaniels. Nice D from Sabonis. Sacramento's gone one of two on three-pointers here in the second quarter. So far. Ellis can't get it to go. The Timberwolves have gone six of nine in the second quarter. Some good work from the field. McLaughlin, the pass to McDaniels. Out to Conley, shoots the three. The shot is good. It's his second bucket in five tries. Came into the NBA as an average shooter at best. Conley's worked as hard as anyone to improve his shot. Part of why he's had such a stellar career. How a timeout called by Sacramento. And the 28th pick in the 2020 draft, Clark. Jaden McDaniels has more than outplayed his draft position. Yeah, you know, there were some question marks year one in college at UW, but... You look at him now, hey, length, mobility, skill set, those are things that every team wants and needs. Some changes here for the Timberwolves. Nas Reed, he's checked in for Gobert. Anderson comes in for McDaniels. And it's Edwards in for Mike Conley. 131 left in the first half. Herter kicks to Monk. Now here is McGee. Nothing on the board. Pass to Wiles. Six to shoot. Breaking down some numbers here. The hustle stats for Minnesota. They're contesting shots and, and have also come up with some significant blocks, putting a little doubt into the minds of the opposing shooters. They're also doing a really good job on the offensive boards, bagging their own groceries, doing whatever it takes to get those second chance points. The first one falls. Good on both. 115 left in the second quarter. Passes it to Reed. That one falls. His second basket of the game. He's now two for three. Uh, unwilling to let up even for a moment. That's his killer instinct just fanning the flames. Yeah, I love the fact he doesn't play the score. He just keeps coming. Attack mode. He doesn't know how to step off the gas pedal. That's a layup for him. He's just too open. Minnesota leading by 15. Anderson outside. Herter with it. Now by Anderson. 
Up and in, off to an efficient start, two for three from the field. Boy, that's a one-man show all the way there. Great defense, and then rack to rack with the run. Here's McLaughlin, covered by Mitchell. Towns for three, and another three for Minnesota. It's a real challenge, a major challenge to face a big man who can shoot like Towns can. He stretches the floor as well as any big guy in the league. Now here's Herter. He's got five. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. Clock at six. No good with the elbow jumper. And so a pretty lopsided game through the first half. Timberwolves lead by 16. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks very much, Carl. Impressive start for you. What's the mentality going into a game like this? Uh, just being aggressive. Uh, really played like, really played well at all the first half myself. We're missing, all of us are missing a lot of easy bunnies. We're missing layups for us as pros. So uh, second half, we make those layups, uh, we should be fine. And see if you stick to the script. Thanks very much, man. Back to you. Thank you, David. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the second half momentarily. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again, folks. Ernie Johnson here with Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. It's the NBA on 2K Sports, and let's talk the first half. It's Minnesota out in front at the half. They're leading by 16. Kenny, how'd you see it? Their control of the boards is a big reason for this lead. Seems like it might have been their game plan coming in. Send multiple guys to the rim when the shot goes up. Shaq, how do you think Sacramento played? Just bad interior defense for them to the other half. They didn't push around, not protecting the rim, allowing easy looks. That's the kind of D I love to face. I haven't had at least 30 by now, guys. And that wraps up the halftime show. Third quarter set to begin in just a few. Well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. Without question, De'Aaron Fox displaying his skills today. And how about the amount he's contributing in the scoring column through two quarters? He has been terrific. And you know what? They've come at him a few different ways defensively, and nothing has slowed him down. And after a very lopsided first half, We'll see if things play out a little more evenly here in the second. And on the floor for Chris Finch as we get into the second half. The two towering figures inside for him, Towns and Gobert. Conley is the point. Edwards plays on the wing. And it's McDaniels in at the small forward position. Sacramento with the ball. Following the bucket by the Timberwolves. Here's Barnes. And rebounded by McDaniels. Minnesota leading by 18. It's Edwards on the wing. The shot, no good. Ellis with some nice deep. Here's Fox. Softly drops in the floater. Fox has got 11 points. The handles of Fox, nasty. Remarkable at carving through the defense and creating shot opportunities for himself. McDaniels passes to Edwards. That one good for two. It's a great move, and he catches the defense completely off guard. Yeah, if that's a harbinger of things to come, he's looking at having a very big second half. This will be his third free throw shot of the game. The Kings trail by 19. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Thank you, Kevin. The Timberwolves have gone twin towers with Carl Anthony Towns and Rudy Gobert. Gobert says, I love playing with another dominant big because I've always thought that I could pass. 
I know that I can make guys around me better. Kat says we complement each other. He's a generational talent on defense, and I think I'm a generational talent on offense. Kevin, I'm a generational talent on sideline reporting. <laughs> You are indeed, and that's why you are in Springfield. No argument here, David. Thank you. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the game here. And, of course, we'd all like to see his percentage at the line improve, but he just does not have the touch right now. He's in the 60s. And, guys, it's something that he's going to have to work on more and more because he's still not getting the kind of shooting percentage he would like from the line. Go bear, no good on that free throw. And you know, night to night, you pretty much know what you're gonna get from Gobert. Rim protection, rebounding, intensity, and he gets his points within the flow of the offense. That's a valuable guy there. The Kings have shot 67% from the line tonight, going for a six. And they've been ordinary on the season as well, just about 75% from the line. You know, they've really put themselves behind the eight ball in so many of their games because they just have not been able to knock down those foul shots. Shooting two. That's good from Barnes. And you got to appreciate the overall game of Barnes. He's efficient as a scorer and also works hard at the defensive end. And so he's able to get one of two. And so Conley will bring the ball up for the Minnesota Timberwolves. Here's McDaniels. Rebound by Murray. Murray's got four rebounds now tonight. Conley against Fox. Ellis surveying the D. Gobert with the block. This is what Gobert is known for. His ability to swat shots away with ease. Now a timeout call. Timeout, a chance to review the lineups, matchups, or call a play. Yeah, and I agree. I think there's going to be a new wrinkle in their game plan when they come out of this timeout. Five to shoot. Here's Ellis. Again, the miss by the Kings. A, a little ambitious on that possession, trying to hit a shot in the face of that defensive pressure. Edwards just doesn't allow defenders to bottle him up. Great focus and persistence. Now here's Ellis. A rebound by the Timberwolves. Gobert's got his fifth rebound in this one. Here's Edwards. The putback controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. Excellent putback by Gobert. Perfect timing reading that ball off the rim. 
Fox looking it over. Switch, 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 switch. That one is good. He's only missed one shot of his six taken on the floor. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. Here's Gobert. It's good for the seventh time this game. He's shot seven. He has made seven. Gobert filling up all the stat categories in this one. What a well-rounded player. And last season, Greg, the Kings clinched their first Pacific Division title in 20 years. And they repeated as division champs back in 02 and 03, something they're hoping to achieve again this year as the Kings build off of their breakout season. That's not the type of opportunity he fails to convert very often. Rejected by Murray. And that length and timing make Keegan and a terrific shot blocker. Kings moving the ball around. Left side, Zabonis. Rebound, Minnesota. Towns has got his eighth rebound here tonight. Conley finds McDaniel. Back to Conley. Gobert against Barnes. Gobert the pass to Conley. McDaniels dishes to Gobert. Off target with the free throw line, Jay. Fox against Conley. Sabonis rebounded by the Timberwolves. Timberwolves on offense. They're on a 13-5 run. Conley's shot is off. And so Fox will bring it up for Sacramento. And he makes good on the layup. Fox has got six here in this quarter. Man, he's got it going now. And when he's in this kind of a zone, boy, he's fun to watch. Right, go, go, right here. Ellis against Edwards. Downs looking around. Edwards inside. Sabonis is there. Edwards can't hit. Pass to Murray. Good and a nice assist from Fox. Yeah, and look at the inside presence already for Murray. It'll be fun to watch this young man grow. And here's Edwards. He's got 12. Launches a three. He's off on that one. Rudy Gobert, he's feeling it tonight and has been the driving force for the Timberwolves. Between his points and his rebounds, he was a star for him in that quarter. And don't go away. We'll be right back. And a quick look now at the State Farm assist of the game. It's just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball. And how about the perfect delivery? And they'd love to see every possession in this way. True team basketball. And there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. At the guard positions, Mitchell and Monk. Kevin Herter is out there with Trey Lyons. And it's McGee in at the five spot. So that's the five in the game for Sacramento. Herter and they pick up two Herter's got the first points up on the board here in the fourth for Sacramento Herter against Anderson McGee with the block boy and the wingspan McGee has covers a lot of ground very useful for shot block Monk with the ball And he gets the bucket. Taking it up strong against size. He does not lack for confidence. That's well done there. I mean, don't even give him a chance to get to the block. Get in tight and finish at the rim. And with Towns, we're looking at one of the best three-point shooting big men in the NBA, Clark. He is something to watch. 
He really is. And when you add in everything else he does, Kevin, he's one of the best players in the league, period. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. Scoring breakdown for the Timberwolves. Well, you know, for me, the passing has been fantastic all night. Everybody loves watching this style of basketball where the ball moves and players move. Coaches, fans, and even us broadcasters can appreciate that kind of action. And they've also been steady from the three-point line and doing a good job creating room for their shooters and then converting. Sabonis, he's checked in for Trey Lyons. In town, drops them both. After two consecutive first-round exits, Greg, the Timberwolves are looking to take that next step. And with Anthony Edwards at the helm, I think they will soon. But you have to remember, he is only 22 years old. And when your star is that young, you typically have to endure some growing pains before breaking through. Minnesota with the ball. Following the three-pointer by Malik Monk. The pass to Anderson. Nice ball movement by Minnesota. Shot clock at six. Driving to the basket. Reed misses. Boy, they dodged one there, guys. I mean, he got the wide open look that he wanted, just didn't knock it down. McGee trying to break free. Herter, no good. Timberwolves leading by 15. Morris outside. And he uses the glass on the layup. Given the size disadvantage, you have to have a lot of confidence to take that shot. And you know what? He does. I mean, in the NBA, you've got to have ways to score over defenders of all sizes. The shot by Monk is no good. And so it's Towns with it. He brings it up for Minnesota. The shot's good from Alexander Walker. It, it really does make the game easy for your teammates when you can lead them to the rim that well with the pass. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. Yeah, when you look at Monk's shot mechanics, they're really solid. Even with the foul, he completed his follow-through in his shooting motion. Impressive. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he makes the first. The energy that Monk brings, I love it. I mean, when he's out on the floor, he's giving you everything he has. Keegan Murray's checked in for Sacramento. De'Aaron Fox comes in for Davion Mitchell. And then for Minnesota. Edwards, he's checked in for Alexander Walker. And Jordan McLaughlin subbed in for Morris. And Monk drops them both. Timberwolves leading by 17. Just over two and a half minutes played now here in the final quarter of regulation. Over to the wing. Six on the shot clock. Anderson outside. Releases. It's rebounded by De'Aaron Fox. Sacramento's gone one or two from three-point range here in the fourth. He gets that one. And he gives up pounds to a lot of guys defending him, but that has never kept Fox from being in attack mode. Here's McLaughlin. Pass to Towns. To the paint. And down it goes, jamming that one home. And he might be small for a center, but boy, can he jump out of the building. Here's Fox. Good once again. That makes him eight for nine this game. Fox is so good at exploiting the pick and roll. When the defense goes under the screen, he knows exactly what to do. Burn him with the jump. McLaughlin, the pass to Reed. He kicks to Edwards. Over Monk. Edwards can't hit. The Kings trail by 15. Passes it to Fox. Side for Murray. Good, and it's Fox who picks up the assist. An NBA ready as a rookie. Murray can do damage from deep. And the Timberwolves call time here. They're in front by 12. 
a minute 42 left in the game. Now, let's take a look at the New Balance player of the game, Rudy Gobert. You know, honestly, I'm a bit in shock. I mean, he couldn't miss. Let's look at this stat line. You've got to really see it to believe it. Complete confidence and all-out effort from him. And, you know, he made sure this was his night in spades. And with the playoffs on the horizon, he'll be looking to stay in peak form as long as he can. Now here's Edwards. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Boy, you love to see Edwards shine on offense like this. I know it's got to be making his coach happy, too. Here's Fox. He's still up. Now he is 9 of 10. Coming off a big game, his confidence couldn't be higher. And coach knows it. Showing no signs of slowing or cooling down. They're going to ride him as far as he can take it. Kept alive. Reed. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Harrison Barnes picks one up. Falls for Reed. Oh, free throws good from Reed. The Kings trail by fourteen. Up top, Fox by Conley. Murray for three. The shot no good. And so Conley will bring the ball up for the Timberwolves. The biggest lead of the game was 24 points. And these are the types of games where one team clearly has the edge. Tonight it will be a win by a large margin for the Timberwolves. The differential in assists led to a lot of open looks and also helped to get um, you know more guys involved in the offense easy. And they made the defense adjust, but they just couldn't come up with an answer. And you know, when you look at the huge impact he had, just a monster game for Rudy Gobert. Well, I can't recall a play that he wasn't involved in. He was so involved in so many plays tonight. A force on both ends. Shooting two. And that one misses. And some changes here for the Kings. McGee, he's checked in for Sabonis. Lyle comes in for Keegan Murray. And Kevin Herter subbed in for Harrison Barnes. Minnesota also making some changes. Anderson, he's checked in for Carl Anthony Towns. Alexander Walker comes in for Edwards. And Morris subbed in for Mike Conley. And the second free throw, good. Not nearly as productive a trip to the line as he'd have liked. They need all their free throws to go down at this point. Now Morris, that's going to be over and back, not watching for the line that time. Mitchell, he's checked in for Fox. Mitchell against Morris. And he lobs it up toward the rim, and it's McGee with the jam. 
Great timing by McGee on the liftoff. Getting in the air to receive the pass at just the right time. Pass to Reed. Back to McDaniels. Down to five on the shot clock. Count that one. And it's just competing. You know, giving your best when it matters most. Yeah, you know, once they got victory in their view, a huge injection of energy and a great run to finish it off. So it's Minnesota winning this one easy. And in the win, a comfortable win in what was, I think, gee, a pretty hostile environment. It, it really was. You, you know, it's never going to be easy on the road, but they didn't have too many problems with that tonight. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Hey, thanks a lot, Carl. A lot of players got in on the action offensively. When you get it rolling as a team, how good can you be? I mean, it's awesome, you know, to get a chance to keep uh, the defense guessing. You know, we did a great job of that tonight. Uh, you know, we did a fabulous job. We let our defense be our offense tonight, and that's uh, when we were at our best. That's what happens. It certainly was great on the floor tonight, man. Congrats on the win. Back to you. Thank you for that, David. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and Clark Kellogg, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for being with us. So long. Thank <laughs> you.